UP cops reportedly sprayed migrant laborers with disinfectants as thousands fled Delhi on foot to head back to their homes. This incident led to wide criticism on social media over the state government's callous attitude towards migrant laborers returning home. देखिए जो सैनिटाइजेशन का प्रोग्राम हुआ है ये नगर निगम के तत्वाधान में मतलब आयोजित किया जा रहा है तो इसमें केमिकल वगैरह जो जो सोडियम हाइपोक्लोराइड नामक केमिकल है ये जो है इनके द्वारा ही नगर निगम द्वारा ही दिया जा रहा है उन्हीं के द्वारा ही ये मिला के हमारी गाड़ी में फरा जाता है तो हमारा स्टाफ और नगर निगम का स्टाफ दोनों मिलकर जो सैनिटाइजेशन प्रोग्राम कर रहे हैं द लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वॉज क्विक टू टेक एक्शन सेइंग द डिसइंफेक्टेंट्स वर मेंट टू सैनिटाइज बसेस फ्लाइंग इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट affected people are being given medical treatment while action is being taken against the officials BJP supporters were quick to counter the growing criticism tweeting a video and claiming the same was done in Kerala as well Even as such incidents are being criticized in India one also needs to look outside india as well this video from an earlier date shows officers at indonesia airport spring passengers with disinfectants when they were coming back from wuhan china similarly a report mentioned a company in china which has built a tunnel to spray employees at an industrial complex with disinfectant before they can begin work they claim such measures are needed as their country battles a huge covid-19 outbreak the bareilly incident highlights the lack of awareness among local administration and government personnel related to fighting covid-19 These officials may have had the right intent of sanitizing the area but seem to have gone overboard in their actions. State governments across the country face the uphill task of not just containing the spread of this deadly virus but also educating their staff of the do's and don'ts in its successful implementation. A TOI online report